Hi, I'm Joe Alden, MD of Survival Top 50's Reader's Choice website, doomandbloom.net. With over a thousand articles, podcasts, and videos on medical preparedness for any disaster. Together with my wife, Amy Alton, an advanced registered nurse practitioner, we're the authors of the 2017 Book Excellence Award winner in medicine, The Survival Medicine Handbook. Now in its 700 page third edition and the designers of an entire line of medical kits at store doomandbloom.net. Well, we've just returned from Big Sky, Montana, where we attended the National Wilderness Medicine Conference and also certified in AWEP, Advanced Wilderness Medical Provider. One of the things they discussed there was something that indeed I was planning to talk about that would be useful information for the survival medic to know. The Ottawa Rules. The Ottawa Rules are a set of guidelines that help decide if a patient with certain foot or ankle pain should be evaluated in normal times by x-ray to diagnose a particular or possible bone fracture. They're not the only ways to diagnose a fracture versus a sprain, but for certain areas they might point you in the right direction. These are especially useful in survival where x-rays are not just going to be right there for you. They're not going to be an option. If the Ottawa rules suggest that an x-ray should be done, you should probably consider that person a likely candidate to have sustained a fracture and maybe proceed accordingly. The first Ottawa rule is very simple. Turn on again. I think I can... What do you mean? Because this one is a walking. The first rule is a walking rule, so... Go ahead. Start it again. If I'm just going to finish... It's still on! Can the victim take four steps? That's a grand total of two on the affected foot and ankle. If they can't at the scene, and also when they are examined by you later, you might just be dealing with a fracture. Now let's look at the ankle. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Well, what we think of as the ankle bone is actually called the medial malleolus when it's on the inside of the ankle and the lateral malleolus when it's on the outside. It's actually the end of the lower main leg bone, the larger of the two leg bones, called the tibia. Now, if you press lightly on the malleolus and perhaps a few centimeters above it, and there's pain, especially in back, this should make you suspicious of a fracture. The same thing with the lateral malleolus. You press on the malleolus and back of the malleolus, move up a little bit. If there's significant pain there, maybe there has indeed been a fracture. Now, interestingly, pain below the malleolus is oftentimes not a fracture, is mostly a sign of a sprain because you've got ligaments there as opposed to bone, and when they're damaged, they'll cause pain there, but not necessarily so much on the malleolus. Now the foot itself can be fractured, of course, and when that happens, when pain points to a broken bone on the foot, it might show some discomfort, significant discomfort here in the bone that leads to the little toe. That is called the fifth metatarsal. Another area where that could happen is the area of the navicular bone and it's around here. And if you have pain here or you have pain here that's significant, well, ordinarily they would say, got to do an x-ray, but in survival, most likely you're dealing with a fracture or you should act as if you're suspicious that there is a fracture. There are also Ottawa rules that specifically relate to the knees, especially for folks that are over 55. Point tenderness that's right on the kneecap right on the kneecap and an inability to flex the knee to 90 degrees or even a tender head of the smaller leg bone, the fibula, might make you suspect a fracture in this area. Now, if your victim passes the Ottawa rules test, that doesn't mean that he or she might not have a fracture, but the chances are actually much less, especially for an indirect injury. For direct trauma, like a sledgehammer to your foot, well, you're probably more likely to be dealing with a fracture and maybe a crush injury as well, something we talked about last time. 
More on fractures and other orthopedic injuries and other videos on this channel, please subscribe. This is Joe Alden, MD, that old Dr. Bones, and the world famous foot model, <laughs> Amy Alton. <laughs> Thanks for yes. watching. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, if you need a solid medical kit for that wilderness hike, hunting trip, or even long-term survival, check out Nurse Amy's entire line at store.doomandbloom.net. That's store.doomandbloom.net. You'll be glad you did.